notes, realizing I never uploaded last week's. Heather, I'm sorry. I know you needed it. Dang it. You got to remind me when I forget those things. I will upload both when we're done. I, as I just hit that, but oh my gosh, I never did that. Okay. May is here. I feel like I am behind on everything, but I just keep telling myself it's okay. We have all month still. Like we just, it's all going to be okay. But I would be lying if I didn't say I'm like chasing my tail. Um, so with that said, I just want to go over a few things that I have started to launch already today. If you haven't seen some more things I'm going to get done. Um, and then we'll get into just like you guys talking. Like, I really want this to be more about you guys, right? But I do want to update you with some things and I want you guys super duper crystal clear on um, kind of the cadence and just how some things are going. So I am going to go ahead and share my screen too real quick. Can you guys see that okay? Yeah, okay. Uh, Sorry, I didn't have this quite ready yet. And of course it's gonna be slow. Okay, so first of all, I learned something really cool that I'm trying out for the training that I'm not sure if everybody saw. So you may notice that um, all of the training posts got posted in the group today. And I know that for some people that can seem a little overwhelming. So that's why I said, just, I'm going to try it for a couple of months and kind of see what people think. Um, but I absolutely love, and this is what I want to show you guys, um, where these things are going to land and that I didn't realize that I had the capabilities of doing. So first of all, I knew about um, topics because you guys know in Shoot for the Moon, I started using the hashtags and I knew they could come up as, as topics. However, in this group, because for years that wasn't a thing. If you go to the topics in this group, there are like a bazillion hashtags that everybody's used just for fun, not because we actually wanted it to be a topic per se. Um, so I'll go to that in a minute and I'll show you a fix I found. So I was kind of avoiding the topics like a plague. I really wanted to do it and I really wanted to start getting focused and have some things that um, your the directors and I are using um, so that we know like you can always go look for sponsoring here and you can always go looking for booking here and that sort of thing. But when I would go and see the hundreds of hashtags, I was like, how am I ever going to clean this up? Like, this is going to take me, it's like when your email account gets really bad, right? Like, this is going to take me hours just to clean this up. Well, I found a trick to that. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. So that made me super happy. So that means I, I'm not here yet, but I, and I'll announce when I am. But for now, the hashtag May 22, it's going to show up and I'm going to end up pinning that to the, to the top. In fact, I can probably do that right now as I'm showing you guys this. So this will be the hashtag that you're going to see with all of the training post. Now, like I said, I know some of the, the cons are that I had to post them all today. And some people are like, oh, the notifications. And I know that bothers some people. But the pros are, it has a place it's going to live all month. And for those of you who don't know, you can only make an event for two weeks within a group. And so that was always tricky too, because you're always going to have those new consultants that join us later and you want them to know about all about May. Or you're going to have those team members underneath you, which some of you probably can guess you already have some, or you can sense they're going to be this way that they don't always pay attention at the beginning of the month. But maybe by the end of the month, somehow they wake up and they want to know all the things. So it's going to live there um, under the topics. And then the other thing that I learned that I did not know is I have not been using the guides in the group. Now you will see if you go to guides, you're gonna see a couple in here and they're old. Um, it's the quick start guide and it's just to show you how the quick start guide works, um, which that needs to be cleaned up and probably just dumped to be honest. And then same thing with this, how I party on Facebook. That is so old, you guys, it's not even funny. Um, I don't even know when, when it's from. <laughs> I'll have to look at it, but I know it's old. So what I didn't know is that I can actually um, move. I was under, it's not just that I was under the, oops, it's not just that I was under the understanding, it's that this changed somewhere along the way and I don't know when. It used to be that when you were setting up a guide, you had to make that post right, right within um, the guide itself. And now I did some playing around because someone was like, no, it's not that way anymore. So you're going to see that I can now 
um, add this somewhere here, add post to a guide. So I haven't done that yet, but this is all going to get added to a guide. So we're going to have two. Yeah, can you shut that door? I thought I had it shut. Thank you. Um, so this is going to live in two places. It's going to be a guide and then it's going to be um, an edit, a post topic. So I'm going to try it for a couple of months and just kind of see what happens. But I want you guys to be aware of that. So with that, again, this is foreseeing the future. This is, I'm not promising this is happening before Rome. I'm not promising this is happening this month, but I just want to give you guys the big picture. Eventually, um, I want to make a video for, so like in that, for those of you that have been part of the new consultant training I do, and I think almost all of you really have at this point, if not, I know your leaders are doing things similar to me. When you get added to this page, I'm going to have a video that really talks about how to utilize this page because a lot of people don't understand that the featured for instance instance even has several um, really good posts that you want them to see right and you want them aware of how the topics are going to work see here's the topics just so you guys get to see but there's a way that i get to hide them look at that high topic how easy is that so you can see if you come here there's literally like i'm not even kidding you hundreds <laughs> um so anyways, this video, as soon as they join the group, will empower them how a group works. And, you know, and, and then they'll know how, um, because a lot of them don't know how guides work and how those things work on the training playground. playground. And, you know, at some point, maybe it will empower them to even use their customer group this way and to realize that too. I mean, that's just an added bonus for you guys all to think about as well. So any questions with that? With that? Does that all make sense to you guys? Does it all look like it could be? kind of fun and clean and a different way to do everything. Questions, comments, looks good. Yeah, I see a couple nodding heads. Okay, so then we have um, a couple of events, new events I wanna make sure that you guys are aware of. Um, one, we're gonna do our gather meeting this Wednesday. I really apologize that that got posted late. The last couple of months, Again, I would be lying if I didn't say that your leaders and I have all been kind of flying by the seat of our pants. But some of this stuff, um, I'm just gonna be authentic. I mean, it just happens sometimes, ebb and flow, right? And so, but we are gonna have that Wednesday. So I do hope that you will all come to that if you can. Um, for those of you that are newer and maybe haven't been to a gather, it is when we're gonna celebrate everything that we did in April. We're gonna hit on a couple things in May. I'm not gonna do a ton because I've already given you the training for May, right? But we're gonna talk about it. Um, and we're just gonna have some fun and some celebrations and do some fun stuff there too. All right, next up, the first one I really want you guys to con to, to look at is the connected contact, connected con I told you you couldn't say it five times fast last time. Connected contacts contest. I know, again, I'm late to the game. I really wanted to do this last week, but it just didn't happen. Um, so everything is in here now though. So if you've not clicked to join this already, please do so. Please be the most active members in here as those leader, as those those future leaders, right? Um, you're gonna see I'm giving happy mail ev away everywhere. Um, for those of you that know I fail at happy mail, I cannot fail at this because my virtual assistant already has a bunch of stuff. Um, hang on one second, because my husband is calling me and I have to tell him I can't talk. I am on a Zoom and I absolutely cannot talk. Can you call Myra if it's important? All right, bye. Thanks. He's picking up a mattress and I'm sure he probably thinks he needed me, but I think he'll be okay. Um, so <laughs> I'm just saying, right? <laughs> so um, anyways, my virtual assistant has happy mail for me, so I can't fail at this one. It's not in my hands that I have to mail because I stink at that and have so much to get caught up still with mailing some past happy mail. I promise you I have not forgotten. I always do get to it. Sometimes it just takes way longer than it should. So with that said, I'm giving away tons of happy mail. I'm challenging everyone to do the 100 no's. You guys really pretty much know about this event already. I really kind of gave you the down low of it last week, um, but it is up and live and running. Um, and so don't overwhelm your, new, your newest consultants. And by newest consultants, I mean like she hasn't launched yet. Um, but by all means, if she's already launched, get challenge her share this event with her get her to do that you know any of your team members that have been around for a while try to get them going on this as well and the one that i really am like pushing 
that I want to see somebody get because I this conversation came up because um, I shared with some account, some of my accountability groups. Um, and so this I, I'm in some groups, you guys, with like upper level leaders that have a lot of people. So like those of you that have been around, like think Gretchen Man Miller, think Jennifer Pasolakis, like NEDs who have been around for like 15 years plus and they've done the 100 no's and that sort of thing. <clears throat> but here's the thing. While I say they've done the 100 no's, we all said I've never seen anybody succeed at it. I have never seen someone actually show me that they got a hundred no's. So I am challenging you who is going, because I'm going to brag about you like everywhere. <laughs> and I'm challenging myself because I've said it before, like a mil, I, Shannon, I'm sure you can say like, how many times have we said, we're going to do it. We're going to get a hundred no's. And like, I've not even gotten close. It is so much harder than you think. So I challenge you all to kind of make that one of your goals. Like I know we were really pushing for the 100 con connected contacts and I like 100% believe you all can do that. And I hope you do too. Like that's actually not a huge kind of, I mean, it's big, don't get me wrong, but it's not a huge challenge for you guys because most of you have been doing 60 every month for how many months? I mean, come on, you can do 40 more, right? I did add in there just to kind of answer this question is that it has to be no oh i didn't post the four to five questions i didn't post the five questions in there to make myself a no i went to do that and then i had to hop on here so whether you do the four questions or the five questions it's okay if you're not asking about the club or there's you know something there that you're not you're not doing just yet because i know there's a four version and a five version um they have to say no to every single one so it cannot be that she just said no to sponsoring um, even that I think is going to be hard. I, I do think like track those things, right? Cause I'd be curious, where do we all end up? How many times do you actually, how many people do you actually ask and hear the word no, when you're sliding down the mountain, just to sponsoring, how many times do you hear it to the party? Like track it all. But what's counting is that she just said no to everything. No, 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 no. She said, you know, she let you go through the questions and she just said, no, 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 no. Right. Um, I will even, you know, I didn't add this on there, but how do you guys, what do you guys, I'll ask, I'll ask your opinion. What do you guys think? Do you think it should count if, for instance, you ask her if she could do the five questions, if she says no, think that counts? What are your thoughts? No, Shannon says no, Charlene says, yeah, I'm torn. I kind of can see both ways. I know, I'll think on it. I'll, I'll, de I'll, I'll decide, I'll make the executive decision. Um, Maybe I'll give that as a separate giveaway too. I don't even care. I'm all about giving happy mail. The point with this, you guys, and, oh, I don't have the chat open. Hang on. Yeah, she just learned how to post to a guide from a vendor event. Yeah, see, so I've been in some vendor events that they use the guide also, Ashley. So the point being, and the reason I'm giving all of this happy mail away, and I'll be authentic with you guys, because again, I love treating, treating you guys like you truly are becoming leaders is that we need action steps, right? So if you get some of your team members in here, um, even your sideline sisters, like everything you're gonna see in here is that I really want you to feel that you, um, you can be celebrated for doing action steps, right? Because it's, it can be a downer when you try what you think is your hardest and you don't book any parties or you don't get any recruits or you just get nothing, right? And so I really want people to start tracking and seeing like the positive side of things, if that makes sense and the action steps that you do. And I guarantee if you are messaging enough people to even get close to that hundred no's, you're gonna see some yeses in there. I mean, it's just a numbers game and you're going to. Okay, so she, if she said no to all the four or five questions separately, no, good question. It does not count as, it's just one. Yeah, I, I need to add that too. So one person counts as one no. Yep. Okay. Any questions on that without looking at it? Anybody have any questions or anything to add with the celebrate it with the connected contacts? All right. Next up is the sponsoring bootcamp. Have not finished this. Um, this is going to be still a really big, yeah, that's not it. Hang on. That's Shelly's. That's my upline. Oh. 
So here's a perfect example. You see it runs May 17th through the 31st, and that is because I need it to be seen the entire month, but it starts now. I am not done with this. This is what I'm gonna work on this evening still when we get off of here. I um, have lots, again, of accountability, accountability partners and our upper level leader and some stuff that have really shared some really cool things um, so that we can all be successful this month with sponsoring and recruiting. Um, so the one thing you do need to know though, because it's not in there is that, and I told you guys about this before, um, is that our is 31 for you. I've also not cleaned that up. Those two things are first on my list when we get off of this call, probably after eating dinner. But um, my first things I'm gonna, that I'm gonna finish up tonight is both this training and even more importantly, I might not finish the training. I might just get is 31 for you caught up um, and, the, and some pieces of the training um, first. And so that is, I am sticking to the plan of the group, the is 31 for you group that we have um is going to have all of the posts in there that will be current so that's why i've got to go in and clean some stuff up because i think there's shannon pointed out there's some stuff in there from february and the 20 dollars kit and some things in there that need to go the dollar post needs to be in there i'm going to try to go live i've really been trying to play low-key you guys with being in facebook jail um so i've not went live anywhere yet i've really just tried to focus on things that i can control and that i know i can do so that's Another reason I look like I'm behind and I'm kind of not, it's just that I've had to shift gears and shift focus. So for those of you that don't know, Shannon and Tracy and I all went into Facebook jail on Wednesday. Um, and we have limited things that we can do and not do. And I know from past experience, because I was in and out last year for nine months, um, I can't, we can't press our limits. Like we can go to, co like the things that we're not allowed to do. And even some of the things we're allowed to do, if we do too much of it, again, we're, we're in a red flag zone. If we do anything that looks spammy, Facebook goes, nope, and they put us in jail longer or they make the restrictions harder. It's annoying. So I've been really trying to play low key with that. But with that said, um, JP, Jennifer Poslocki is our NED. She did post today her times in the Zoom link. So I'm gonna get that in the group. Every Monday, she is doing the opportunity calls uh, and they're awesome. I mean, she gave, Shannon and I heard on Friday, she gave a down low of what she's doing. And I know my jaw just dropped that I'm just like so thankful that someone else is doing this because I always have to lead the way, right? And I love leading, but sometimes it's awesome to have somebody else lead the way. Um, so very, very thankful she's doing it to our whole lineage. I think there's gonna be a huge FOMO in it too. She's spending the first 15 minutes or so basically explaining how things work, why you should join. And she is basically just like okay it's a dollar and your website's free sign up now and then now the next part of the convers the next part of the call is like let's how we're going to make you successful and she's literally going to give them like as a new consultant basically what to do so i feel pretty strongly that i think on a zoom call when all these people are signing up for a dollar like and you just heard all the reasons and you and you actually understand the things you can get free that a lot of people are just going to sign up on the spot so this is going to be like our golden ticket you guys this is going to be where you're gonna put those those girls that are on the fence still, they think it's too good to be true, you know, all of that. It'll be a recorded Zoom also, so it'll always, we'll be able to post it afterwards, but of course live I think is gonna be key, which you can't always get. Um, so they're gonna get all the questions answered in Is 31 for You, and then they're gonna have her live. Now, the only exception is the ninth. She is not doing the ninth because she leaves for Rome um, before I do. Most of us leave on the 10th, but some of them are leaving early. In fact, some people are there right now. They just left, they're, they're extending. I'm extending after, not before. So I actually am gonna be able to do the one on the 9th for our team. Now it won't be as huge. I may end up, at, yeah, I may, Shannon, don't say that out loud to Tina or anyone, but I may offer it to the lineage if I feel confident that I can do it well. Um, I will see how it goes on Monday. Um, I, I also had to ask JP to share the, the slides um, uh, and she didn't see my question, Shannon, as you remember, and I'm just remembering out loud, I need to ask her. So if she'll share the slides with me. If I feel like I can take good notes from what she does on the second, um, I will share it with our lineage. And the reason that that matters to you guys is because again, I think the bigger it is, the more FOMO there is, like the more that it's just like, you feel like you're in this place, the right place, the right time, and you wanna be part of it, right? Um, but either way, it'll be done for us for sure. I don't leave until the 10th, so I can pull that off on the 9th. Um, anything there, Shannon, that you can think of that I'm missing? Because you and I have talked this out so much. Is there anything with that opportunity event that I'm missing? The one that JP's doing? 
No, well, both. Between what I'm doing with our group and then hers, is there anything else important or just anything to share with them? Does that sound like our plan? No, and I think you I think you covered it. I know you said you were going to update the, the is 31 for you group, and then you were going to post these um, Zooms in there, and then you were also going to do your live or do some other yes. kind of and so there. So live, I think that's about everything that we said. Yep. And my live may end up being a video also. That may be another way that I just kind of feel like it's a little safer for me to share this everywhere because I also am going to need this video to kind of go everywhere. Um, for those of you that are familiar with hostess stacking, I don't know who's familiar with that. Who's familiar with hostess stacking? Yeah, probably our older girls, our newer girls aren't. Um, the idea is, is that you, so normal host stacking, insider stacking, we really used to do this at our home parties and a lot of us have know we need to get better at doing it at our, um, our, our Facebook parties as well. But the idea is, is that you one at a time show them everything. So like if it's for a party, you show everything they're gonna get for our $500 party. And like I used to homeschool or home party days, I would pick somebody, I would, I would get, ask for a volunteer out of the audience they would come up and they'd put their hands out. You can't see my hands, but they'd put their arms out, right? And you would literally slide all the items on their, their bag and make on their arms and make them be like a little coat rack, basically type of thing. And there was different games and different versions. I'm not going to get into all of that, but you would keep going. And then you'd be like, okay, but here's a thousand dollar party, right? Like, and you talk about how you're, you're, we're trying to get her there and you show all the things. So I'm going to do something similar but it's gonna be for this dollar enrollment, right? Like, so when you hit like the very, very, very minimum party of $300, I'm gonna show her just like that simple thing she gets, right? Like, wah, 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 you get something, but it's not super exciting, right? And then 500, it automatically just becomes boom. She gets all the things in the kit. She gets a whole bunch of stuff. And then I'm gonna keep building. So I can't promise you when that's getting done. I'll be super honest because there's just so many things. I have so many balls in the air right now I'm trying to do, but. It, my goal is before I leave for Rome at least, right? So that'll be a video that we can share. And it may be sooner than that, maybe super duper soon. I just, it's not on the, I know it's, I have buckets of lists of what's gotta be done today and what's gotta be done tomorrow. And that is not on it yet. So, um, but that's something that will get added. But I really think JP's, JP's Monday night thing is gonna be enough that you're not gonna need mine right away either. What my video is gonna be great for is for you to just share. And I will make sure that I am talking to our lineage when I when I make it, like I'll make sure that it's universal, that like I'll be your executive director depending on who you sign up under, right? Like I won't make it just for me um, so that you can share this because I think this is gonna be one of those great pieces um, that you're, you're not just blasting everywhere necessarily and I'm not against you putting it places. Um, this is gonna be more, look, this is going to be that voice recording that you leave and you're like this dollar enrollment i'm telling you it's amazing and i can't even explain it all to you um do you have time to watch this five minute video or this 10 minute video or whatever my video end up ends up being right like my executive director made this video it's going to be visually you're actually going to see i mean i'm going to hold up the money in the whole nine yards i'm going to hold up the hundred like the 500 hundred dollar party here's the 125 cash you want you know you got you know a paper that says three months free website. And then they're going to see the kit items and the amp items and their own party and all that stuff. Right. And then just keep going. Okay. Any questions on any of that so far? I know some of that was a review of last week, but also just kind of where we're at with it. All right. So your goal right now is still, and it's, it is 31 and definitely going to get cleaned up after we are on here and these new zooms and that. So um, in the comments, let's hear how many people do you want to get to that opportunity event tomorrow with JP tomorrow. All right, next up, while you guys are doing that, I leave the 10th. I just wanted to give you guys that no, I am gone the 10th through the 27th. Um, oh, this is a plan that you guys need to know. Actually, this wasn't on my notes, um, but have no fear. Your directors and I, so between two we'll call them problems for lack of a better um, term, between two problems, one being me being gone the 10th through the 27th and this amazing opportunity that we've never seen 31 do before, I would be lie, lying if I didn't say like, I'm actually surprised I don't have hives because I'm that anxious about it. <laughs> but I'm trying to work, work it out. What time is it, Lisa? That's a really good question. Jay, Shannon, do you know what time she posted? I might've, hang on, I think I shaved, saved the, photo maybe it's I at 8 31 eastern time perfect thank you 8 31 every every monday eastern and i'll do the same on the ninth um 
but it doesn't, I, I know that I can make things happen while I'm gone, but it's just, it is like, at the same time, I'm like, why, why do I have to be on this amazing trip from 31 and you're giving the best month that we think we could ever see in our business. So between that, that's problem number one, even though it's a good problem to have. Problem number two being that Shannon and Tracy and I, three leaders, um, have been in Facebook jail and Shannon and I have been in and out actually in the past couple of weeks. We needed solutions. And so we are going to do our um, new consultant launches. We are going to work together on those and be launching. That way, um, A, Danielle doesn't have to work too hard while she's in Rome. Um, and B, Shannon and Tracy and I know that we can launch anyone on our team. So for Lisa and Izzy under me, that's, you know, like you need that peace of mind. And for Heather under Shannon, you need that peace of mind, right? Because otherwise, as it stands right now, I can't make a new group. I couldn't start a new launch party tomorrow if I wanted to. Now there's ways around that. I'm going to go to some old groups and dump some people out and, <laughs> and turn it into a new group. But just know that we are in the works with that. We are still going to coach our people. So Izzy and Lisa, if you get new people and the people that you already have that I'm working with, I am going to coach them just to give you like my opinions and like how I feel about things. When I am in Italy, I absolutely do not mind coaching the entire time I'm gone. It is, I can do that in my sleep. I have files ready for that. As you guys know, you've seen me, right? It's Pete and repeat. I just send the next steps. Um, so I don't mind morning, noon and night doing that because I can do that on trains, planes and automobiles while I'm all over the place, right? I can do that sitting at lunch real quick. I just don't want to um, have to be starting parties and setting up since share. You guys know all of that, right? Like that's the work part of it. That's the part where you really have to babysit. So we're going to do these together. It's going to make these, these, these um, launch parties bigger, which as you guys know too, is always a plus. The more people in there, the more people are participating. So I just want you guys to rest at ease that while I'm gone, I'm not gone, gone. And I know like Lisa, like when I was in Putacana, you're so worried. Oh my God, you're not gonna be able to talk to me. I promise I'm gonna talk to you. Like don't blow up my phone 24 seven. Right. But like, I seriously do not mind answering questions. You guys, I'm not leaving the planet. <laughs> like, like it's not a big deal. There will be downtime that I can still answer your questions. I am going to ask you guys to go to each other as much as possible. Right. And go to the team page, but that doesn't mean that I'm like not here for you guys. So any questions on that plan? And we're still in the process. Any suggestions we're open to either because we're all still brainstorming how to make this work. Um, one thing we know we're doing is, um, so Tammy has volunteered to basically run the parties for us and do them from since share, knock on wood, fingers crossed, prayers sent, please, that she doesn't end up in Facebook jail. Um, and so we're gonna start six, our, this is one more part to it, is we're gonna start six groups as soon as we can. Um, because as I mentioned, Shannon and Tracy and I actually can't even join groups that we're not part of. So as soon as we're out of jail, we're going to get in those groups. We're all going to become admins. That way we can do some of the things, you know, the posts and the things that we need to do too. And actually just comment. Because if I'm not, and also if we're not in, that's another little rule. If we're not an admin of a group, we can't comment. We can't, even if we're already in it, we can't comment on it. So like I can't, for instance, I can't comment on any 31 led um groups. So while I'm in there and I'm not kicked out or anything like that, those are the groups that we can't come in either. So, okay. Any questions there? No, we're good. Okay. I see some, um, some great numbers of what you guys are trying to get in there tomorrow, make it happen. I, I have not even, I've not put my oxygen math mask on yet at all. So I've got to get my ask on as well. You guys, I've been so busy working on trainings and my own parties that are going. And so while I landed in Facebook jail, I was in the middle of my own mega party with like 12 hosts, 12 hosts in it. One of the biggest ones I've had in a while, like 300 plus people. And then another launch party with like five, five consultants in it too. I'm in the middle of those and they kind of had to come to a screeching halt. So bear with me because I've been trying to make sure that those those I don't completely lose those people plus I've been doing all these trainings okay I think I'm down to one last thing that's it I have one more thing I want to do at the end I wanted to I'm going to leave it till the end to give you guys some special giveaways that I'm doing as a lineage um and as my team and I know Shannon is doing as her team and if you're watching this replay and you're on Jessica Tracy or Gresh's team Tammy's Tammy, have anybody in here? Anyways, if you're on anybody else's team, they everyone's going to be involved in the lineage, um, but they're doing their own thing with their team pages. So I do want to announce because Shannon and I are definitely doing the same thing. And I know we have the most people on this call too. So I do want to let you guys know some things that we're doing. 
So with that said, I want to run this last half hour now the way I really, really want to start doing these groups all the time. And that is all about you guys. So first off, I'm going to quit sharing the screen because that's not necessary. And I want to hear celebrations. We just ended May and I want to hear all the fun things that just happened in April for you, 31 related and even non-31 related wins. Um, let's just start there. Who wants to go first? Heather, go for it. Cause I know you hit your goal and it was last minute and you were working hard. Let's hear it. <laughs> I, I did. I, um, my goal was a thousand, which is not super high for a lot of people, but my month started out super slow and I, inched my way up and with Shannon's encouragement, I pushed some extra sales with the uh, large utility totes and of course the spring sale and ended up going over my thousand. So that was, it was a big deal. And I'm a little yeah. nervous for May, but I am hoping that May is gonna pick up. I have my first home party um, in two Saturdays, um, which is the hostess from the largest, my, 2000 plus Facebook party that was huge a month ago. Um, she's doing a home party uh, in a couple of weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that everything goes well. I haven't done a home party since I did Tupperware probably 15, 17 years ago. So it'll be interesting. Um, I am going to take one of our, my newest consultant with me because she's wanting to um, shadow. Get, yeah, she's yeah. wanting to, to kind of get the lay of the land as well. So yeah, just we'll just cross our fingers that it goes really well. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. They're, you know, great people to talk to, uh, you know, so. Yeah. How exciting. Yeah. So both are exciting. Yes. Um, you know, I know what it's like to have a bad month and still want to pull numbers, right? And you don't have yeah. a party to pull it from. So right. that is work. Like that is true. Like, it is true work when you have to start hustling and trying to sell large chili totes with spring refresh. So give yourself a huge pat on the back Thank for you. that. It's Thanks. really, really, it, it is. Some people that is all they do in their business, right? And I'm always like, oh, I don't not do it, but I don't want to do that every month. That's not what no. I want to do month after month, right? Like, right. you know, like, oh my gosh, no, there's so much more bang, but it makes you appreciate it too. It makes you it realize does. how much more you get from the party. It's almost like you have to do that every once in a while to kind of see like, okay, I can do that. Woohoo, go me, mm -hmm. right? But at the same time, like, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna go back right. and ask all those people now, will you book a party? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'd like rather have it done the first half of the month than the second half for sure. Yeah, yeah, so kudos to you for that. Thank okay, you. Okay, home, home party, um, oh my gosh, so exciting. I teeter back and forth with like missing them so much, but then also being like, oh, but I don't have to do them anymore either. Like, it, but it's so, it's so fun. But the knowing that you have such a great hostess already, like yay, yay, yay. Yeah. So two things, be ready to still do a Facebook party afterwards for okay. everyone that doesn't come. Um, and two, Shannon, I'm going to call you out just because you're her director, get with Shannon and make sure that you go over the home party. Like we used to rock the home parties. We know the games and all kinds of stuff. Shannon gave you a thumbs up if you didn't see it. So she can give you all kinds of tips, um, without me going into the details here. And that's yeah. for anyone. If you guys are going to have a home party, like we can tell you, I'm just not going to go over and over and over again, because I know it's not for everyone. Um, but I do want to help. We want to help you guys. Right. And we have, yeah. we definitely have the tips because pre COVID you guys, for those of you who don't know, that is all I did. I thought Facebook parties were stupid, like hated them, hated them with a passion. I even had blogs about them, <laughs> how stupid they were. <laughs> so yeah, Shannon, and then, I will definitely be in touch with you. Cause I do have lots of questions and I don't, I don't want to bore everybody with all that. So yeah, I'll be no, in touch with you in a few days. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Danielle. Very good. Other celebrations. Go for it, Charlene. <laughs> so I went through the whole amp. I finished it. Yay! <laughs> Yay. That is and so huge. It is. And one of my sponsors also got um, qualified. So I'm just, yes. So you're a senior <laughs> so consultant. Yes. yes. So you hit senior consultant, fifth amp. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Do you know how rare that is? Like, honestly, <laughs> you guys don't give yourself enough credit. Those of you that are hitting these things, you are truly a unicorn in the business. Like the percentages just go down and down. And I think sometimes I'm not saying this to brag, I'm, but I, I need you guys to understand. And I need you to, I need to be authentic with you. I think it's easy 
to get caught up in, you see all these people in this group, this is who you're working with, right? And we're not even all here. And so you start to do the, the thief of comparison comes in, right? And you're like, oh my gosh, this girl's doing this and she's doing that. And they're all hitting it. You guys, I'm not kidding when I say, I am truly blessed to have this many people and a lineage even doing what you're doing. You are, you are truly rare. There are so many upper level leaders who are bigger than me who are not seeing the successes that you guys are, you guys are seeing and you're not giving yourself enough credit, right? It's 100% because you're all coachable. Like you, we, you would not be here if you weren't. And I just want you guys to keep remembering like that is key, just being coachable. It does not mean you are constantly going to see successes. There are going to be peaks and valleys, but I promise you're going to get out of those valleys and you're going to get into those peaks more often than not when you're just consistent and you're coachable. So it really is amazing, Charlene. Like I know that you feel good about it, but I know also some of you just think like, oh yeah, we've seen so many people do that already, right? And it's so rare. It really, really, really is. You are the cream of the crop. So kudos to all of you that have done those things and are continuing and on your way because I know Izzy and Lisa are in that same process and working on getting, becoming a senior consultant and all the things. So woo woo, yahoo. And I see that little baby peeking, oh no, and struggling. I saw the face. <laughs> All right, who else has successes? Look at her. God, she's so cute. I just want to eat her up. Anybody else? We're good? Me. I'll go. Me. Ashley, go, Ashley, go ahead. Yeah, go, Ashley. Well, thank you. Um, I just did a vendor event online this week and today I had no parties leading up to you know for May or June and by doing the five questions and the dice game I gained nine parties and I I did get two sales about a hundred dollars worth which is better than nothing but I was happy about those nine parties and I did get someone wanting to sign up under the dollar that we're working with right now. So I'm hoping to get more, but Amazing. I'm happy about the nine parties. <laughs> yes. I love that you shared how you did it because that was going to be my question too. So the dice game and the five questions. I love it. And did you get them messaging you too? I know we kind of talked about that too. Did you get them kind of messaging you first and different things? How did that work for you? Well, I did the post, you know, about the five questions, everything. And then I started just messaging everyone. Sometimes, um, they would read it and ignore me. Other ones mm -hmm. would just do mm -hmm. a thumbs up. One person um, was totally weird and blocked me and everything. So I just kept moving Let it go on. Over your head. Yeah, Water on I the was, back of the dock, right? Like whatever. It was <laughs> it was super weird. I did gain most of my connected April contacts by these questions this week. So that's all right. You got them. You got it. This, you did it. <sighs> I have a problem with logging my connected contacts, but this week I made sure to do that. And I now know I'm going to have a system of how I want to do it. But um, yeah, I just did the questions and then they would, you know, respond or whatnot. And I just keep going down, you know. And then when they would say about the, um, no, it's not for them for joining, I was like, well, what if I told you you could for a dollar? And it would spark the interest. And nice. so I've added a couple people to the, it's 31 for you. Perfect. One of them is still, she said her husband told her no, because they're worried about the cost, you know, down the line, this and that. So I'm just hoping these other things help, you know. Get her an opportunity call with JP. And she will see that it's not going to cost her any money. Like that it's literally zero. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. Yeah. And Shannon just said she did all that in an event. Yes. Is that not amazing? Yeah. Like kudos. And, yes. And some told me no during the five questions. And then when I did the dice game, they play the dice game and I got them that way. So <laughs> very good. So you did the five questions first and then the dice game yep. a little bit later. Good to know. I love it. It was about two days later because there's okay. some that don't look at their messages but they'll see that post about that game yeah yeah so no that's a did. great tip i love it so she actually did this in a vendor event yes yeah. i paid 15 dollars for an online vendor event from the 25th 
till today. And to me, it was worth it if I gained the nine parties. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm in one right now. It ends today. So, and I still have to do four more posts for today. So maybe I'll do that. Yeah. 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 Why not? Right. I don't yeah. usually do that kind of a game in there because a lot of the, the events that I do, they don't want you messaging people unless they message you first. So I'm trying to do the interaction games and stuff like that, trying to get people uh -huh. to interact with me so that, that then I can message them. Right. I right. made sure of that before I um, started posting these and when the vendor event first started, because I've seen events like that, like they don't want you reaching out to the mm -hmm. customers or the partiers and stuff. And that makes it hard for us as mm -hmm. you know, consultants, because that's how we get in contact right. with people. Right. So. Yeah. Very cool. That is a major win. Good I know. Job. She's been keeping me posted and I've just been like, oh, so super exciting. <laughs> okay, Shannon, go ahead. You're out, you're there. Tell us your, your wins. Um, well, I actually reached my goal. I was like Heather um, when um, she said she needed 100. I'm like, I'm with you, girl. I need 250 and I surpassed mine too. Um, my goal, I want, my goal normally is 4,000, but I just wanted my 2,000 so that I can get my consistency ribbon for um, impact. So that was my goal, but I ended up with 2,500 in sales this month. So I was happy with that. And then um, I actually uh, got to use my uh, free kit that I got from Punta Cana. You guys aren't gonna believe this, but guess, guess who signed up to be a consultant? I know, I know. And it's my legit. Husband. <laughs> my husband wants to compete with me now. So he wants to, sell and he signed up last night he went on um on the website which he doesn't like uh, the 31 website by the way he thinks that it needs to be more simplified um but <laughs> amen he, he got the e he got the email um and personalized his kit like 10 minutes after he joined and was getting all his man bags he said and he was gonna he's gonna post and he's gonna compete he's, he's so gonna get the trip he's too. Gonna be I think it's going to be awesome because I think he's going to do well. And I think it's going to be really fun. I think he, I mean, he's he, not going to beat me. So he's going to push me. Yeah. And that's just it. Like he thinks he's going to beat you. And it's so funny because like, he knows how good you are. Like he brags about you guys. I mean, just to give you guys like an idea, he actually called home office and like bragged about his wife and like, yeah. Right. Like so sweet. Like I have chills. Like he told me about it. Puta Kana, and I'm like, Oh my God, you're the sweetest. But like, seriously, no, she's best. But at the same time, like he's a man. And he thinks he's going to win. <laughs> and I think it's going to be a huge eye opener for him too. how hard you work, Shannon, like what you do. And he knows that. Don't get me wrong. He is a supporter. He's not, you know, a negative Nelly, but I think he will truly see like, holy crap, this is a lot of stuff that Shannon has to know. I hope you see it too, because I'm sure you're going to have to teach him some shit that you think that you mm -hmm. normally hate. And you think like, oh my gosh, I can't do this because Shannon hates techie things, you know, just like I do, she, but she hates me more than I do. And so I think when you have to show him things too, you're going to feel good. I hope so about what you do. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this plays out. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun for sure. So it is, it is. I heard sure. him, I heard him talking uh, to, he's got a group chat with a couple of the truck drivers. So he was telling them all the shit today and I'm just sitting back here listening, giggling. I'm thinking, okay. Okay, you're gonna do what? Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So fun. So so fun. So all right. Who do we got left? Lisa and Izzy. I know Lisa, you're not feeling good, but Lisa, you want to talk? Go for it. Sure okay. Is. Um this month, sorry, I feel like I sound like a man. But um this month I um closed out five parties. I Almost hit 3,000 in sales. Mm, so close, but I guess next month I'll hit it. So, um, and I did earn all of the, what is it called? The AMP. She earned them all. Thank yeah. you. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Yep. And you had, was your new recruit, did she join last month? Yeah. It's just been dragging forever. But she's <laughs> getting ready to launch. She's I, like... As much as we're she's getting, been, I want you all to know that like, I know, and I know Lisa's asked me a few times, like, at what point do I give up on this girl? Like, she's making me crazy. She's not doing anything. And I think Lisa, I, I don't want to speak for you, but I think if there wasn't me there, you would have given up on her already. Right. Like you were done. Would you have been I messaging mean, I, her still? I didn't know what else to do. Like, yeah, no, and it's okay. No. It's normal. Yeah. And every few days I just kept messaging like, okay, 
how's it coming? Where are we at? Are, is everything okay? Right? Like I checked in, like, how is she doing? And we're still slow, but sure, but we're moving. <laughs> I thought we lost. I thought we I know. lost. Like, a few times words. we thought we lost her. <laughs> yep. And I have some like that too. I had some that have joined in March. But every few days they'll still they'll touch base i'm so sorry blah 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 they'll give you their long excuses right and they're legit but i'm like okay and where are we at did you do the last step <laughs> so and i know ashley can say it's happened to her like a bazillion million trillion times right like and they also just didn't come they don't come back but we keep trying like we still every yeah she's got five recruits that are all so her numbers, it's a numbers game, Ashley. I swear, like the next five are going to be good for you. Like it just, had, you're due, you're just so due for it. And if Tammy were on here, she would tell you because I know I said it the last time, I think she, that girl's had like, oh my gosh, 15 or 20 plus recruits and took her forever to get four pigas. Um, so super duper fun, at least. Uh, and remind me again, when you joined March? When I joined, yeah. um, it was like the last day of February. February. Yeah. So hitting 3000 already. Yep. Hitting 3000 already in an almost 3000 in April and being bummed that you didn't quite hit it, girl, you are killing it. I'm telling you, you are doing amazing. <laughs> I have one more thing to say. Yeah. And this is not 31 related, but yeah, let's hear I it. 140 pounds down today. My God. That's <laughs> so amazing. So that is, oh, that's bigger than 31. I don't, tell, I don't tell a lot of people that, but I just thought I, I mean, I know I can t tell you guys. Yes, so. thank you for sharing. I love it. That's a bigger win than 31 any day. Honestly, seriously, Lisa, that is like, that gives me chills because I'm over here what? still just trying to lose 20 more and you're plus 240. <laughs> when I have, yeah, I'm having a celebration, so. Woohoo, love it. Okay, Izzy, are you able to talk? Got any celebrations? Let's hear it. I know you got stuff. Um, I mean... Well, I hit level three for AMP so far, um, just off of my party alone. And I was able to book parties off of that and get two recruit. One just is my mother though, and she's just humoring me. <laughs> but um, but she's doing it at least. I mean, she's yes. like Shannon's dad, Shannon's husband. She's at least gonna do a launch and knows, she understands you wanna be a leader and wants to try to be a Pika and like do the things at least, right? So that's fun. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then the other girl, I think that she will work out. She actually works with me at my dealership, but she's in the office. Um, but she's got like four or five kids and they're all in travel sports. So she's super busy. So I think it'll take a little bit to actually get yep. her. She wants to do it and she's super excited, but I think it'll take a little bit to get her kind of up and rolling. So yep. I'm just now trying to get these parties set up and rolling with since share and things like that it's the hardest part everybody can testify like getting them ready doing the first one it is it's the hardest part even like every catalog changeover like it takes oh my gosh at least a week if not two just to build the parties and get them in since share and do all the and that's not two weeks like working straight but it just it takes bits and pieces looking for graphics so once you get that rolling though, I mean, you're going to be set through August. Like you're going to have it all ready to go. Once you start hostess coaching those, what do you have? Five? Is it five hosts? I think you have in this party. How many parts? Yeah, I have like four that four. have, yep. I've already like moved through and I've set up their parties already and they're making nice. their list right now. So yeah. I've set up their parties already. And then I, just before I got on here, I got on TOT and I was looking at all of the main marketing and stuff. So I've like saved those graphics and things, yep. but I'm having a hard party finding like a graphic for like the header in the group. That's like, welcome to the party or things like that. That's what I'm trying to find. And I've like added myself in all of those graphic groups or a, a, like attempted to add myself, but I just need to get it approved trying okay so you're not in all of them yet yeah yeah okay you'll find them they're in there if not holler at one of us i'm sure we, some, i'm sure one of us has some saved somewhere um because they're there they're out there somewhere if somebody's got them even like lisa if you've got any of the welcome to the party type banners i know i'm trying to think where mine are too just message at some point izzy ashley might have some too okay um yeah amazing because you also just joined when did you join um march 28th March 28th and already hitting her third amp, already got all these parties rolling. Amazing. So amazing. Really, really cool. Okay. That was everybody, right? That's here. Yes. Okay. 
So I know we've only got a little bit of time, but we can't all be cheery because there's poopy things still too, right? And we have to help each other with those poopy things. So I want to hear the pitfalls. I want to hear the down and dirty. I want to hear what honestly pissed you off last month. <laughs> what didn't work? What did you do? You know, or what did you, and, and even if it's got a positive ending, I want to hear about it, right? Because we want to hear what your solutions were. But even if you don't have solutions in, or you're just, or even if the solution at this point for you in your mind, whether it's the truth or not, but it's your truth is like, I'm just not doing that again. Like whatever that looks like, I don't care, right? We all have things that were just, ugh. it doesn't always, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Um, so pitfalls, things that you need help with, things that you just want to tell the group, like even whatever that looks like, go. Shannon, should I call you up first? Because <laughs> I know Shannon's got one. <laughs> but she has well, I don't like Facebook parties. <laughs> yeah, right? That's fine. I absolutely don't like Facebook parties. I really don't. And they have not been going very well for me at all. Um and they were, they were going well for her, but as they've just they were, done but this. right now they're not they're yeah. not. I can't get anybody to participate in them. I have time I can't get the host to participate in them. Um so I've decided that I'm gonna do scroll parties and the landing page parties from Project Broadcast. So I've got those um, made up. Will you and explain like a simple version of what those are for people that don't know what that looks like? It's basically done all through uh either messenger or text. It's basically a party that you're gonna I'm gonna send you a I'm gonna have the hostess invite people to tell her that she's having the, the scroll party thing and all they have to do is basically send them the link their friends click on it and then they just scroll up and you know scroll down and it's got all the different um, categories like organizational thermals all this different stuff in there that they can click on it'll take them right to my website to shop for that item um, and it's got the a shop to look in there it's got the monthly special it's got the opportunity it's got bookings it's got all the things in there so you just you're just scrolling through your phone like you would through Facebook and then whatever catches your eye, they can click on it. I got my direct links clicked to every picture on my scroll. So, and then there's also the spot where they can click on it to order. It's got my um, link tree link in there where it's got all my hostesses set up. And then it's also got a direct link. It shows a picture of my hostess and what her favorite items are. So it's got all the things in there. So instead of going to a Facebook party and waiting six days for all the posts to post and comment and do other things, it's, it's all in the scroll. Posts, There's even a giveaway there. there. Yeah, yep. the giveaway is there too. So they can enter my giveaway. I got it set up in Project Broadcast on a drip campaign. So once they click on it, it automatically enters them to the campaign and they get my messages that are already set up. It automatically inserts their name and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm started to do this month. I can't really give you any numbers and tell you how successful it is for me yet. There's other um, upper leaders in 31 that have been doing it. So I kind of got their script from them and just changed it up. So that's what I'm doing. And I think that's posted on, is it in the lineage page that you posted the I don't know the examples? The yeah, I don't remember if the hashtags got got saved so, or but not. there is an example in there that you can click on that shows you kind of what it is i just changed it up to me and changed out some of the photos and my favorites and all that good stuff um so that's what i'm trying to do right now just because i need a break from facebook i'm in jail too much i mean i got i went in jail like um danielle said i got out um on a thursday and within less than a week i was back in again and i don't get out till wednesday night and i'm supposed to have parties that have already started and I can't make groups to get, get those going. So I'm, kind of, I'm offering them the scroll party instead. And I got a couple that are going to take it, but then I still have people that want the, the Facebook party. I'm like, well, you're going to have to wait till Wednesday night. I can't make the group till then, you know, unless yep. I could do what Daniel's saying and go back into some old groups and delete people. And it's a pain in the butt, but I might have to do that too. So you can always but. just start late though. I love yeah. that you found a solution. So my thing with this, if this has piqued your interest, you guys, is um, I'm going to use Cindy Monroe's advice that she has given us often and that um, there is always going to be a huge buffet of things um, out there um, like this, right? So you're going to see ideas like this and you're going to see bingos and you're going to see doing home parties again and you're going to see vendor events and all these different things, right, that you can choose. And especially if your personality is like me, like Ashley, I know yours is, right? Um, and I know Lisa sometimes can be, right? Like we, and I know I, probably honestly a lot of you on this call because if you're in this group, like you're an overachiever, right? And so it's very common for our type to think we can do all the things and want to do all the things, right? And I wanna encourage you 
that if you feel really busy right now and really successful and, and you've got parties booked and you've got things like, just put that in your back pocket, right? Like, don't, don't worry about that yet right now. Like it, it piqued your interest, put it on a list somewhere of something you want to revisit someday and listen to Shannon, keep seeing how she does, right? Let her be the guinea pig. Let her show us how it works and let her do it because she is in a place where she is like, her and I've had it in our back pocket for months. And I finally said to her the other day, she was so mad at Facebook. And I was like, and it's time for you to embrace that school party, right? Like you got to find something else that's bringing you joy right now. If you are in the same place as Shannon, by all means, please get with Shannon. She will gladly show you what she's done already. And between her and I will find the post. Tracy actually made a video, um, how to kind of do some of it too. one of the other leaders. So we do have resources. Like she said, we've got some upper level leaders that have shared theirs and different things. But I know when I first started this business, I would not take that advice, to be honest. So I hope you will, because I just continue to chase all the shiny things and make myself crazy. And I would succeed at a lot of them, um, but I would be crazy. That's the bottom line, right? Like I felt crazy all the time. And I don't want you guys to feel crazy. So don't get caught up in the newness. But yet, if you heard vendor events and you're like, oh my gosh, I need more parties, then go that way. You know what I mean? Tap into Ashley, tap into, you know what I mean? Whatever that looks like. So just keep that in mind as you hear things. But at the same time, I can't go without saying, Shannon, I'm so proud of you because she hates techie things also. And she has embraced both of these. There's two different ways you can do them. One is in Canva and one is in what's called Project Broadcast. And she's embraced both. And I don't know how to do them. And they give me anxiety just thinking about it to do them. So, and I know she's even, she's even way worse than I am when it comes to techie things. Like she just talks herself out of things and she's done it. So super proud of you, Shannon. Okay. Yep. Other pitfalls, other things that honestly, Heather, go for it. Just pissed you off even if that's what you've got, right? I'm just starting to really get irritated with the four or five questions after the parties and people don't even look at them. And I was going through because I was, you know, hoping to get some older, you know, some party goers from previous parties from a few months ago and, you know, contact them. And I'm going through all my messages. And I, I mean, I've got hundreds of people in there that never even opened the very first question. So I guess my thought is for one, if they never even acknowledged and opened it and ever answered it, do you just delete them? I mean, is there any purpose really to go back if they're not even going to open it and say, hey, you know, the new summer line is out. Just wanted to let you know, do you want to, you know, uh, join my VIP group or, you know, would you be interested? I mean, if they don't, obviously they're not, to me, they, I just feel like they're not interested at all if they can't even open the very first question. In every party, I tell them toward the end of the party, there's going to be four questions be sure to answer for a chance to, you know, get a free gift, whatever. And they can't even do that. And then the last party that I had, I had maybe two people, actually, yeah, three people consistently out of 15 that were in the party that even commented on any of the posts and they, they didn't even do them. And that's huge. That makes a big difference how busy your party is. Okay. So I have two things that I want to say. Um, one Tell me what you're gaining by going and deleting. Are we talking about deleting from Messenger? Like deleting yes. their, tell me yes. what you're gaining. The five, the tell five, the, the five question. Like if they, you know, if I posted the very first question, right. you know, are you interested so in So going doing into what your I Messenger do? basically. And the question is like, do I go into my Messenger and delete anything? I do not. I have reasons and I'll, and I'll explain in a minute. But first, my question to you is, what are you gaining by taking the time to go and delete those? I, I guess just the thought that I don't have to go back and look at those people again and see that they had absolutely no interest in even opening the message. And so some second, of them, since I'm not friends with them, I have no idea even what party they were right. in. So second question, is that how you're tracking? Is going some, back to those messages? Sometimes, okay. yes. So my suggestion is to track and bless and release and don't make that an extra step for you. Because to me, that's like a waste of my time. If mm -hmm. I had to go back and delete messages, that would take me hours, you guys. Like, I right. don't care. And you never know. She might be in your customer group and she might message you someday. Like, to me, I don't want to ever not know what they talked about because it happens. The longer you're in this business, people will message you. And I am honestly like, who the F are you? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Right. And I have to go look at our messages. I don't want them gone because I want to see, oh, well, 
she did do the five questions and her first response was Ashley. Oh, must've been Ashley somebody. Right. And so like, I can usually go look at her friends list, right? Like that's when I got to put my detective hat on, right. My little magnifying glass. But to me, I, that's my suggestion for that answer specifically. Now I know that doesn't help the pain of this isn't working for you. Right. But right. that's just one part of like, I also think just like, I'm going to sound like I'm a psychiatrist here, which I am not, but I also think taking the time to go and delete them is just making you angry that much longer also. <laughs> and I don't Probably. want, I mean, right? right. I mean, it's just like one more thing that you're like, Oh, and you're going and doing it and you're deleting and like, you're just angry about it. And my rule of thumb is like, I get to be angry for five minutes and I'm pretty sure that's right. going to take you longer than that. Right. And I just think it's unneeded. So my suggestion is get a better tracking system, get them written down so that you really have a way to follow up and you're not just scrolling messenger. The other thing with that, that like Shannon can testify and, and some of you too, that have done other businesses, like seriously within a year from now, you are not going to be able to track that way. Like you right. are going to start having, so the more and more you party, it's, you're going to end up getting like Ashley's getting there. I think Ashley can probably, she, I think we just lost Ashley, but Ashley would be able to testify. She's, she was, the, she said it earlier. She thinks at tracking and she started to realize like, I have to, cause now I'm dropping the ball. Like now I've got, you know, like, Shin and I have pages, right? Like I have pages of people. And if I don't have that on paper, they're never going to hear from me again. And you guys, I'm going back. This, this notebook started in August. You better believe I'm going back to August and I'm looking when they had any, because I took note, if they took any peak in interest of joining, I'm going back to as many of these people as I can this month. And I'm sending those voice recordings and I'm trying to see if I can get something again, right? Like, and I, if I had to go, to, I used to do Messenger, trust me, because I used to do it too. And if I have to go back through Messenger, then I have to actually read the messages. I have to go to each person. I have to read the messages. I have to see what we talked about, as opposed to this little key, however you do yours, whether it's this or Excel or whatever, I can quickly just see, okay, yep, here we go. P, 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 the party. You know what I mean? Like I can go down and see all the different little things that I did. Okay. I, um, Ashley, oh, Ashley's back. So I don't know how much time everybody at has, but I'm going to add. The other person who's not on the call, who I know is really good at this also is Jessica and Tammy. Jessica, Tammy, and Ashley rock the five questions. Like they have stats sometimes that I don't have, but I also will be authentic and I stink at doing them all of the time. Like I get people messaging me for the poll and I get messaging me for, um, I started doing the catch up day, message me your favorite food. And so I do those. But sometimes when these parties are so big, I just get behind. Now, the last one I did, I was with the Izzy was in with Rex. Like I was super successful. I was not dropping the ball on that party because it had 200 and some people and it was hopping and everybody was participating. So I was set up for success. So I am not one to speak because that's the last one that I did that I was really successful. And I'm telling you my Rex, which I talked about on the last call, and we'll probably continue to talk about for years to come, <laughs> was like had the best party I've ever had and probably will ever have. And so everybody loves him and they were participating. So I don't want to base it off of that. I've done so, so just like you guys on the other one. But what I will say that I did do still, and I will post, a, I think I... I think I posted some of it in the shoot for the moon is I did have more than one post about the five questions and I sent them right to my Facebook. You can get that link for the Facebook messenger. Are you using that Heather? Like that makes them click. Okay. I figured you were, um, but I know Ashley and Jessica and Tammy have a, like more success with five questions also. Um, so I feel like Ashley, do you have anything that you want to share with the five questions right off the, right off the top? I know I'm putting you on the spot. Right now, I'm not doing the one that has, you know, uh, do you want to join my club? I have kept that out because I'm still in the process of learning that. Um, but also, I started with this vendor one. If they read the message and kind of left me hanging, even about the parties, you can hold that question and the little emojis pop up. There's a question mark one. Click it. It notifies them that you're still, you know, you're still waiting to get that answer. Or the word um, effects. You just made me think of the word effects you can do too. Like if you hold it down, you can make it do like <laughs> anything like that is going to give them a notification, right? And yep. we didn't actually have to say anything. I like that. I, I like did that. the red question mark right on there and it notified them. And then they were coming back and responding. Um, I did say with the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The party one. Do you, can I spoil you when they say, well, I can't right now. I said, well, can we revisit it in the fall? 
And I had one, two, three, five of them say yes for possible fall nice. party. Nice. So I wrote them down and everything. And I keep losing you guys because my earbud keeps falling out and I keep putting it in and hanging up on you guys. So I can't ever keep earbuds in out. either. That's funny. <laughs> Heather, are you doing any kind of follow-up? Are you, are you messaging them again saying like, Hey, I, are do. You mm-hmm. I, yep, figured. I do, but Ashley, how do you do, where's this question mark thing you're talking about? When you hold the picture down, it will like populate like the ha ha, the thumbs up. Right. Down. There's a more or a plus button. Oh, okay. Like that. And there's that red question mark. Or I think you can also, no, that is how I did. I didn't type in the red question mark, but click it and it will pop up on that picture. Okay. Well, I'm going to do that on, on the last party yeah, that I did. Kind of. I mean, nobody wants to see like question mark, question mark, question mark, right. right? Like, but this is different, right? Like, this is just a little, like, it's a little more subtle. Like, it's mm-hmm. kind of passive aggressive, <laughs> but not like super, right? Like, I think it's just enough. And if that feels yucky to you, do the heart, right? Like, just right. do something on it that makes them, it sends them a notification. Like Ashley said, right? Like, give them this emoji, right? Give them emoji. Because <laughs> right? they like, might have read it. They may have read it and are Absolutely. busy with their baby or yeah, me. Right. Like, for instance, when I'm at work, I read things and then I'm like, I'll respond later and then I forget. So it's kind of like a nice, like, I'm still here type thing. I'm still <laughs> waiting for your answer from three this weeks ago. Question. Right. Yep. Yep. So I am going to say this and I think I'm right, but it would be a question that I would have for like Ashley, Jessica, and Tammy and all of us to make, maybe all of us to just start paying attention to even. I am going to guess too, that like, if like, I know you said like, you really didn't have that much participation. You only had like 15 participating and even they didn't do it, but I'm going to guess again, it's still a really huge numbers game. And if your party's great, they're going to answer the questions. If the party's not so great, they're not going to answer the questions. So I think you're going to have to give yourself grace. And while that's still frustrating and you still get to be pissed off because all in all your party sucked and you get to be mad, right? Like (laughs) I'm giving you that at the same time, you've got to realize like, yeah, nobody participated. So of course they're not going to answer me in messenger, right? Like, so look at those stats too. pay attention to that. Now, if it's a hopping party and they're not answering you, then yeah, let's, we got to, we got to talk, right? Like we got to figure out what are we going to do to get them to message us first? What do we got? You know, because that's the key. The more that you can get them to message them you first, it's pretty inevitable. They're not going to ignore you. Like they will still don't get me wrong. I get some, but most of those, if I send it and I follow up, they say, Oh my gosh. Yes. Right. Because they asked me for the link already. They sent the name from the poll. Right. And they answered whatever other question you have. Um, but those numbers are low for me too. You guys, like those aren't high, but I still take those numbers and I'm usually like, okay, well, I booked an average of like one to two parties for each host, right? So that's your goal, right? Like try to make that your goal. And if that's not happening, then yes, we got to keep tweaking it. Um, And you got to get the hostesses more involved, but you got to also know that this is what happens with hosts too. I mean, you just, and you can get down there for a little bit. And it's sometimes it's hard because what happens is, is when you get down there and you book parties off of those parties, you stay there. (laughs) <laughs> because nine times out of 10, if that's what they're, host, you know what I mean? Like they don't know any different. Right. And so like, that's why this party I have right now, it's going okay because it had Rex in it. And then I booked parties from Rex and Rex's people are doing good, but the people who booked from other parties, they're still just doing meh. Right. So it does a lot of this and it will definitely do this when you're booking off a of booking. So I hope that kind of helped. I know that wasn't a ton of info. I would say tap into tap into Tammy too, because Tammy does really good. And I know Jessica's not on here and she's super swamped, but if you get a chance, you can tap into her too and just kind of see like, what other posts are they doing? How are they getting people to get them to messenger and that kind of thing? Cause you're not alone. You're not the only one who complains about them. I know Shannon was saying the same thing. That's one more thing to add to her Facebook frustration is that she wasn't getting them either. So don't tap into her. <laughs> just kidding. I love you. <laughs> okay. Izzy, what you got? Is there a way to do those five questions I as an actual that. poll? Uh-huh. Like, you know how when you go know. in and you're like, uh-huh. who's, you know, your insider or whatever, because if you uh-huh. can do that and then from there you can start the conversation based off of what they've picked in Messenger, uh-huh. then that Play way, because yeah. I feel like sometimes two people don't necessarily want everybody else to know that they're maybe interested in it or whatever, or where they're kind Absolutely. of at, they're shy about it. Yeah. And because like, I know that I initially went off of your link from Rex's party. It was like, answer my five questions 
survey or something like that. It was the because survey. I'm like, okay, yep. well, that's that's a private thing. Mm-hmm. That and it, just me being personal, I didn't necessarily yeah. want everybody and their brother to know that I was like, okay, thinking about it, right? Yeah, yeah, right. So that would be one thing that I would say, because then it turns it into more of a private thing where they don't have everybody else knowing. Mm-hmm. Are you doing a survey still, too, Heather? I do suggest that you no, guys because- actually I haven't and I and I need to go back and and revisit that because don't you have that in a in a link that you post in the party? Yep. And, and I, I can get that twice. on my site, can I or no, is it in TOT? Uh I think there's directions on TOT how to, I want to say. Okay. Most of us use it as a Google, like a it's not survey, it's Google forms. Forms, thank you. Yes, you make it in a Google form. If Shannon and I can do it, I promise you can do it. <laughs> okay. It's, I can yeah, help you doing ask. that. Shannon so saying she'll help you too. You. Okay. But if, okay. Izzy said it, it perfect. I can't say it enough that Izzy actually nailed it on the head and she said it perfectly. And how amazing is that? We have a prime example that like she said, like that's a private way to answer those questions. She might not have been the one on the party asking the questions and wanting anybody to know that she was thinking about it, right? Because it just feels like I got to be private about this. And I don't know, I just, I got questions, right? And so I post the survey at the beginning and the end. I do both. And I do, I get people that fill those out and I get parties and things. I mean, that used to be all we had. That used to be our gold mine before five, the five, four or five questions and then those came along but I don't see I, I think it's a combination of the two still I think it's still going to be and you're just always going to have those people at the beginning of the party too because I'm that girl that are gung-ho and they want to win the prizes and within a day or two they're like yeah I moved on I got ADHD I saw something else <laughs> so there's just going to be all those personalities too right and so the survey at the beginning and then you're going to have vice versa you're going to have people who didn't pay attention at all the entire week. And I'm this girl sometimes too, right? God, you can tell I'm ADHD. 45 years later, you can really tell, right? Like I just, I say things and I'm like, ah, yeah, mm-hmm. because the other thing I do is I don't have time for you all week long, but now you told me the party's closing and I'm like, shoot, what happened? And I go back and I look at the things, right? And so if it's at the end again, then I'm like, okay, I'll take the survey real quick, right? So you're just going to have so many things along with the five questions, right? Like you're just setting yourself up for success, basically the more things that you're doing like that. So, so should I be doing the survey in the beginning and the end? Cause I, I do, do it in the beginning mm-hmm. and it at least gets the contacts and, mm-hmm. you know, I things do like that. Because I say specifically on it, something like if you missed it at the beginning, because sometimes people don't think they're going to care about the party. Here's another thing, right? Like they think they're not going to care about the party and they did the party and they're like, oh, that was fun. She was good. I mean, how many times you guys hear that, right? Like we're pretty good at what we do. And so they paid attention and then they take the survey and they didn't at the beginning because they didn't think they wanted to do any of that stuff, right? They were like, no, no, this isn't for me, right? Or they missed it. They just didn't even see it, right? Because by the time you get to the end of the party, there's just too many posts. By the time they decided to pay attention to the party, they skimmed and they didn't look at everything. And now at the end, they see those most important last day posts. So I do, I put it there. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, anything else to add to that? Cause that's a hot topic for a lot of us. I know that's one that's a pain point that it's, it's ebb and flow for all of us. You're not alone. Okay, other pain points, other things that just ticked you off last month. Mine's with Shannon, I'll tell you mine. Mine's Facebook. Love, hate, such a love, hate. Ah. Okay, so I think then I will share the screen again before we leave. Actually, I don't have these in a good place. Well, kind of, hang on. You didn't say anything bad to me, Shannon, and then open our link. <laughs> How do I see? I don't get on my computer enough. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm looking for our pictures. It's not as easy as it is on my phone, I guess. Okay, I'll just tell you guys about it. So. The over and Shannon, I'm gonna make sure that you don't let me screw up on what I say and what I after I'm done. So the overall um, lineage giveaway 
is going to be a dollar. I'm going to go find the slide so I can at least see them on my phone. Or Lord, Lord knows I must say something wrong. Shannon and I went over them like three times. We repeated them to each other so we knew what we were doing. <laughs> okay, so the overall lineage is not the dollar. See, look, I'm already saying it wrong because it's not even what we decided on. <laughs> Shannon's laughing at me. <laughs> You got to know we saw like there's so many upper level leaders that were like i'm doing this and i'm doing that right like i saw so many shiny things and i knew i wanted to do something fun for you guys so this is going to get announced hopefully today hopefully today danielle can bust this out um i should be because i've got graphics from um my girlfriend um but i've also been trying to run numbers with with all of your directors so the idea is going to be Last I looked yesterday, we ended at 208 in our entire lineage. Okay, so this is everybody. Everybody's included in this, right? No matter who your director is, if you're watching this, you are included in this incentive from, this one is from me, this is from yours truly. So we're at 208. Now don't quote me on the numbers. This is why this hasn't posted yet because Danielle's got to sit down and do a lot of math. Um, but this is what my girlfriend did just to give you an idea. Ours is going to look a little different because she's bigger than me, but I want to just kind of give you the idea of what she did. So her lineage was at 308 and her goal was to get her lineage to 500. Okay. Now keeping in mind, that's bigger than what I just told you. We're going to do something similar, but ours won't be as big, right? So basically every 50 new 50 people that they get, she is giving away giveaways so she's got up to four amazing giveaways that she is giving um, i am going to do something very similar don't quote me on the prizes but they're going to be very similar um, the first one she's doing is and again ours might not be 50 ours might be every 31 ours might be 31 for the first one and i make them bigger i don't know like i said i gotta sit down and do some math and see what's realistic for our lineage like the best we've ever done and what you guys have given me as goals and what the directors has given me as team goals and i got a full pass report so that's where there's some math coming in so the first one she's doing is what's called um she called it the road to impact survival kit it's super duper cute it is a 31 um shirt a 31 um uh, mug like water jug and then a gift card for gas and a gift card for dining um, and it's like a happy dining one which includes a bunch so ideally right if you are going to impact you want to win this one but shannon and i both agreed like even if you can't go to impact wah, 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 we wish you could but we understand you're not going to hate these gifts still right like they're obviously really good for you if you're going um because you're going to help with your gas and your food and you're going to have a couple 31 swag to wear and take but these aren't things that you would hate right and the, the prizes just get bigger. Now, I am not sure which order I'm gonna go in. There's like some food for thought too, and like her prizes get bigger versus I give the big prize to small. I don't know, I got all kinds of thoughts there. But her second one, and again, I'm gonna do something similar, is she's calling it the Pink Celebration Wine and Food Basket. And if you could see it, it's so cute. It's like, kind of looks like Cheryl's cookie, but it's not, but like something similar to that with like cookies and chocolate goodies and, um, a bottle of wine. It looks like maybe even it's Harry and David. Um, it's got a couple wine glasses. Looks like some chocolate covered strawberries, right? Like just that really fun treat that like, who doesn't love that, right? It's not something you would buy for yourself and you just would love. Next up is a Ninja Air Fryer. Um, I may or may not change that one. I love a air fryer, don't get me wrong, but I feel like everybody's got an air fryer. Can I get a vote on that? Like who would be in like super excited about an air fryer versus who has one already? Yeah. I may give that one some options um, that you get to pick like A, B, C, D or something. I don't know. We'll see. And then the last but not least is $250 in cash. So I think I told it up. Yeah. And she's spending about 500. That's about what I'm going to spend on you guys. So I'm looking to basically give away $500 in prizes. Non, most of it is not 31, right? Like this isn't just like business credit. These are like fun, spoil you things as a lineage to try to get us going. I know you guys are already like part of that, right? Like, and so, and then the point being is every time you sponsor, you get entered. So the more people that you sponsor, the more time, the more chances you guys have to win. So going to have something like that as a lineage. And then I can tell you that Shannon and I are for sure doing this one. If your director is different, I cannot speak for them. They are all looking at their versions and like may or may not, they don't even have to do anything, right? Like this isn't something we have to do and we're just doing because we really want to see you guys succeed and we want to see our lineages grow and all of that good stuff. Um, we just want to add more, more, more to the pot. I also want to remind you, you get your $50 PICA credit, right? Everybody knows about their PICA credit too, right? Like as their PICAs become a PICA, you know, you get $50 in, in business credit. 
not to mention you guys know the value because you're all trying to be a leader. So the next one um, that I'm doing for my, so if you're in my Gen Zero, so Izzy and Lisa and Ashley and Shannon, that is you. Um, and Heather, this is you for Shannon because Shannon is doing this also. If your recruit, so your sponsor that you sponsor, any sponsors that you sponsor this month, if they get their 2000, which remember that 2000 is like the golden spot, right? They get the $179 kit and all the things. If you get that, if they get to that in their first 30 days, we're up in the ante for you. So they got spoiled, we're spoiling you. So you're going to get a choice of four things and they're all valued around $50. You get a ring light, so like your own big like ring light, right? Like to do your live videos and that kind of thing. Or a spa finder, like a spa gift card, an Amazon gift card, and those are all worth 50, or a 31 gift card. So we wanna see you succeed because we know like if she hits thousand, she's probably gonna stay with you, but it's not a promise, right? Like she could have just hit her launch and been like, yep, done, right? But honestly, if she hits 2000, I'm pretty sure she probably booked some more parties. That was a lot of support, whether that was her launch or that was her launch and some parties, she's in it to stay. And you like, you encouraged her. Like, I know we're helping her launch, but you obviously still had to encourage her and celebrate her and cheer her on and all that good stuff, right? So we wanna celebrate you for that also. So super excited to launch those. Don't quote me on the exact details. Things may change just a little bit, um, but that's where we're kind of looking there. So very excited about that. Shannon, did I get it right? Did I do that all right? <laughs> okay, good. Because Lord knows I can be a ding dong. Okay, I think, let me go back to my notes. I think that's it. Yes. So make sure calls to action when you get off of here. If you have not already, go to the events on the um, lineage page and check out the training that I posted in the lineage page. It's not in the topics yet. Oh, it is in the topics under May 22, right? May 22, yes, um, but not in the guides yet. Um, and then the events, make sure you click to join, make sure you get started on your connected contacts. If you have recruits already who have already launched, touch base with them, get them excited about all of this newness. Um, and then let's see how many people we can get on JP's call tomorrow night. Anything else to add? Any other questions? Wait, there's something in the chat. Did I miss something? The Ninja is amazing. I do think the Ninja is amazing. But do you already have one, Adelina? That's the point. I feel like at this point in the game, like, I feel like air fryers were so popular a few years ago. And then we all got bored in COVID. We needed things. <laughs> I feel like everybody has a Ninja at this point. Or like a some type of air fryer. I see some heads shaking. I don't think it's a bad one. I just think I'm gonna give you um, a, a couple uh, uh, options there maybe. Maybe the Ninja and a couple different things you could pick. Lisa's asking how to get to the call. That's a great question. Um, I will share it. It is in, I'm gonna put it in is 31 for you for sure tonight, but I will put it in our, um, our messenger chats too to make sure that you guys all have it and can just right away start sharing it in case it, I'm a little slow getting to the is 31 for you. Um, yeah, it's a link JP gave us. So 831 Eastern on Monday nights is that call. Anything else? Yeah, pressure cooking. So our air fryer is our um, toaster oven. We always use a toaster oven already. So we double duty does that. Wait and see if there's any more questions. We're good? Okay, all right. I'm gonna start saying, let's just plan on these being 90 minutes. It keeps happening. <laughs> I haven't really said how long they were gonna be, but now that we've done a couple, Oh, that's one housekeeping also. And then I will be done, I swear. Next week, same time. The two weeks after that, I am in Italy, but lo and behold, it is actually on traveling days for me, which means, which is a good thing. Um, it's days that we are going from taking the train and going from city to city. Um, if everybody can just be a little flexible with the time, because it is a six hour time difference. So 4.30 here is actually 10.30 at night for me there. Um, and so depending on what our day is like, I may want to go earlier than that. I may not, and I may not, I may be like, yeah, we're partying it up and I'm not back to the, to our, our place until that time. But just kind of maybe if you, if you keep a calendar and you've got it on there, maybe put 430 and a little question mark next to it. And just a little note, maybe about being flexible. Um, I won't do it last minute. I, by all means, will let you guys know at a, you know, a decent time of like, we're going to do it at 330 today instead of 230. And this is all Eastern I'm talking right now. Um, but I do want to try to make them happen because like I said, that's, that's late evening for me. I'll be coming back to our place and I can wind down and still do them. I will say those I might try to make shorter though, because I don't want to sit till midnight. 
Danielle, I just wanted to remind you that next Sunday is Mother's Day. Oh, it is. That's right. Thank you. Okay, so let's say is Saturday good for everybody? Saturdays are probably going to be bad for some of you, but I don't know what else to do. Because Monday's out for me. I know it is. It's the day before I leave, and I already have a bazillion things I'm doing that day. I'm going to shoot for Saturday, and I know it's not going to be good for everyone because Saturdays I know can just be busier for some than Sundays. Thank you for that reminder. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so next Saturday, 4.30, I'll put it in the group and maybe kind of make sure that at least someone's gonna be there. <laughs> I'll put it in all the messenger groups and just kind of see. Okay, oh, and we didn't even talk about homework and shoot for the moon, but hopefully you guys are doing good there too. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go backwards. Remember, we're gonna pick up week four. Week five, it got posted last week. So week four gets posted tomorrow and that's all about bookings and, um, Biggest thing with that one is um, in Danielle's training playground, tra um, Danielle's training playground bookings training. Um, there's some ideas in there. Like if you're low on bookings right now, always go hit that because there's some things you can do in there that I guarantee you haven't done ever or in several months and you can do again and try to get bookings to that way too. So just keep that in mind. Okay, I think that's it. I swear. Bye guys. <laughs>